Just using the white. It's just a UTC thread. I'm simply going to start at the end of the hook and then remove the base piece. Now I'm going to be using a Fritz and basically a rabbit so strip. Just, that's what it's called. Rabbit zonkers. White. Obviously, I got it in the Glasgow England Centre, but as you see, it's a Wopsy product. It's ideal for this fly. Now we've got a length here. This is a size 8. So B175 size 8. It's a very strong hook. Now I'm looking at the length. Now if you cut it too short, that's it. that's your length and that's it. Having it at a reasonable length, I mean, you can always trim it back. If you feel the fish are pulling at it or it's too big, just you can actually cut a bit off. But I usually give it round about a good inch from the back imagine just open up the area where you want to cut you have a straight cut or like what I'm going to do here if you look at the, the back of it I'm just going to put a point I'm going to tie it on the top Let's get the full length of the body and remove some of the Fur and tie it on top. A couple of turns. Now make sure there's wax on your thread. Now I've got my wax inside of my finger. Makes it easier. Saves me picking it up from the tape all the time. Nice and tight. All the way down. Now I've taken the thread up, basically tying in the sonker strip. Now we take the thread back down. Again, just make sure there's a some wax on your thread. Makes for a tighter and stronger fly. Now one of the questions I get asked about what does the wax actually do? For a start, by the because the thread is coated in wax, any penetration of water will not go into the actual the hook itself. Because it's got a coat of wax in it will repel the water and so the life of your fly will last much longer. So that's another good reason for using wax as well as obviously helps to keep it nice and tight. Now this here is just some flat ether foam. Now it's cut 4 mil, 4 mil thick. And you just cut a length round about I would say 8 mil or so. There we go. And then what I do much I just got a kind of V like a tail. Just remove it. Not the best one I've cut. You can do a better job than that. And there we are. Now I'm going to catch it in round about say three or four mil from the the point of the V. Let's just set it on the top. Come in. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, keeping the thread tight, bring it onto the body. Again, we got more wax. I just like to make sure I've got it well tied in. Now this material is called Synergy Plus. There you go, Synergy Plus. What it is is it's a type of fritz. Uh, this is a lime green version, which is a silver and UV through it with a translucent part being dyed. Uh, the nice lime green. Chartreuse is good. This colour here, I'll show you. This, this, the chartreuse is very good with this pattern. Exactly the same, but just have that one. Just happened to be tying the lime green version. Now, yeah, what I do is I remove the flash from the, and to reveal the core, and then I run it down. Catching it in right to the area where I want it to start, bring the thread back up. And then all we have to do is build up a good body's worth of fritz, stroking it back and doing a turn in front, working your way up. This fritz has a nice fine core, so you can really build up the body if you want. 
towards the eye, just make sure you draw back the fibres. Nice and tight, bring it across the thread. Good. Four to six turns or so. Trim away the excess and then get more wax to give you the grip. You'll always catch tiny bits of fibre or something, especially with frits. You can tidy up as much as you like, but you'll always catch one or two. And then I've got some Velcro here. I'm going to basically make a space for the, the foam to come over the back. Just at this point, see where the tail is sitting at the eye. Just make sure it's not, there's not too much going forward with the eye. So once you bring this over, what you do is just keep a hold of the frets, push the foam down, tighten up, again, a good half a dozen turns or so, watch your thread, bring your thread to the front, make sure that's secure, always keeping the thread nice and tight, then come in and let finish. Now, what you can actually do if you're on the surface, you could leave. You could leave this. Basically, what you've got to do though is to varnish it up or use like bug bond or something just underneath. Make this stiff, but you must make it slightly stiff at the back by putting some at the here on the where you've actually tied it in. But for the standard one, what I like to do is just cut straight across, and that's your Mister Softy.